Hey, what's going on? Dr. Gianzo Boogie here again, back for another video for you guys. And in this video, I wanted to talk about and do a little review on the other Halloween box set that Scream Factory and Anchor Bay put out. And of course, there's a better box set you can get put out by Scream Factory and Anchor Bay for the Halloween movies on Blu-ray. And of course, I'm talking about the massive set that comes with all ten of the movies separate, and it looks great. Such an awesome set. It has the original artwork on each edition. It also comes with the TV cuts of the first two movies, and it comes with the rare producer's cut of the sixth movie, which that box is the first time that had ever got any sort of official release. So if you're going to spend the money on a Halloween Blu-ray box set, that's definitely the place to go, because that's just an amazing box set. I think that's actually one of the best horror box sets ever made. It's just, it, it basically did everything right, and um, it's a great set. But this is the more budget release of the Halloween box set, and um, I wasn't planning on picking this up. I was actually eventually going to save up and get the other box set, which I still plan on probably doing one day, but I actually got this as a gift from my mom. She bought this for me randomly, and it's actually one of the coolest gifts that I've gotten randomly from my mom in a while. So I was really excited and happy about this. And although this isn't as good as the other box set, it's not even really half as good as the other box set. It's still a really nice little box set, and it's a good way to get all the Halloween movies on Blu-ray for a good price. So I figured I would do a little review on it and talk about it anyways. Because actually when I got home with this and I opened it, I was really happy with this. So I guess we'll just talk about it really quickly. Um, it includes all ten of the movies on separate discs, which is pretty cool, but it doesn't really have any bonus feature things. I mean, it has the basic bonus features on each disc, but it doesn't come with any extra discs. Like, it doesn't have the TV cuts of Halloween 1 and 2, and the, probably the most disappointing thing about this is it doesn't have the producer's cut for Halloween 6, which is disappointing, but I know that it's actually getting a separate release from Miramax on Blu-ray, so I'll probably just end up picking that one up, even though, like I said, sometime along the lines in the future, I do want to get the bigger, better Halloween box set, the Blu-ray one, but I just, right now, I don't have the money to get anything like that, so this is great for now. I'm just, again, I'm really happy with this, and um, so, I mean, there's some good special features on some of the discs here, and like I said, it comes with all the movies on separate discs, so it's just, you know, a pretty pretty nice set for that. I like the cover artwork on this, too. I mean, it's nothing great, nothing I've never seen before, but still simple, but it works. I, you know, I like the picture of Mike Myers they use. I actually almost would have liked it better if they used kind of like the original movie poster, even though Anchor Bay has done that a dozen times, or maybe like the pumpkin face, not the pumpkin face, but just the pumpkin jack-o'-lantern, you know, during the opening title credits. I think that would have made a cool cover for this too, or maybe even the cover for Halloween too with the pumpkin on it, but either way, I still think this is a decent cover, just this side of it, it's got a cool little pumpkin picture up there, and Halloween, the complete collection, Anchor Bay, Scream Factory, really nice Blu-ray set, and um, this is the side of it, it comes with two Blu-ray cases, they each hold five discs, and each case has five discs of the Halloween set included in it. So I'll show you guys each case and um, the discs and everything like that. I'll just show you guys the inside of this real quickly. So this is the first five movies. And again, I really like the way this is laid out. I think this is pretty cool. It's got all the names and the original font. I think that looks cool. You know, Halloween, the complete collection. So, I mean, this is a cool set. I almost think it would be cool if they sold this separate and you know for maybe like 30 bucks or something like that 25 because this is a pretty cool looking little set just how it is but anyways it's just awesome i love the cover art in this they got the mask from the fifth one i think the poster for the fifth one not from the fifth one but from the poster for the fifth one on the cover which i think looks really cool that works and on the back it just le um, lists all the special features on each disc, and like I said, no bonus discs with features or anything like that, but there's still some good special features on these, and again, it's just cool to have all these on Blu-ray now, and, um, you know, the discs, in, the discs in here are just, you know, what you would get with the other box set anyways, you know, you just get all the first five movies in here.
and this is the other case that came with it. And of course, this has the rest of the series, Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers, Halloween H2O, Halloween Resurrection, and the two Rob Zombie movies. And um, again, pretty cool looking here. I'm not extremely happy about the choice of using the Rob Zombie mask on the cover. I mean, I can understand that just because that's part of its own series in a way. So it's like, you know, this is representing that on the cover. But I do think that I almost liked it if they had the mask from, like, H2O on the cover. Because out of all the movies on this set, I think that's the best one. And it's my favorite one on this, on this like, these five out of these five, H2O is my favorite. So, um, you know, I thought it would have been cool if they used that on the cover. But anyways, it's pretty cool. I like the way it looks. And the back is the same way. It lists the special features and everything. And uh, the discs, too, I'll show you guys real quick. Halloween 6, H2O, Resurrection, and the two Rob Zombie ones. So, again, I'm really happy to find this. I think it's a nice little set, like I've said before. Not not even close to as good as the other Halloween box set. But for a Halloween box set, it's still, still really nice. And, um, I actually, I can't wait to watch all these around Halloween time. I'm going to watch you know, all the way up to Resurrection as my Halloween marathon that I always try to get in during the, towards the end of October. So, um, and, um, I actually, I wanted to watch some of these, but I didn't want to ruin it for Halloween. So I actually checked out the Rob Zombie one, which had been a long time since I'd seen that one. Last time I'd seen that was around the time when it first came out. So it had been about seven years or so since I'd seen that one. And I would have to say my opinions didn't change too much about it. I, Still didn't think it was that good. I like how Rob Zombie did something a little different with it, but I think there's way too much of the Michael Myers is a little kid thing. Just too much of that, and I really didn't think it needed all that. That could have been cut down to a minute like it was in the original Halloween movie, but that's, you know, Rob Zombie's trying to do something a little different, which is whatever. And again, I think Lori and her friends just are not developed at all. Um, compared to John Carpenter's original film. I just, I, all these characters are very bland to me, and they all seem almost the same. Like, none of them really stand out. Like, in the original Halloween movie, Lori and all her friends all have distinctive personalities, and I really get a sense that they've been friends for a while. Like, I get that these people have been friends. It just, they seem like they have been. And in Rob Zombies, I just feel like the whole part with Lori and all that is just really rushed and then the whole part with Mike Myers at the beginning as a kid is extended way too long. So it just, I almost think that just kind of ruins the whole vibe and the whole plot of the movie, in my opinion. But it's not the worst remake, really. And it's not that bad of a movie. I really like Rob Zombie's movies. I've always liked his music, too. So I've always been a Rob Zombie fan. So I hate to be hard on these movies. I actually plan on watching his Halloween 2 tonight because... I've only seen that one once, and again, it was around when that one first came out, so it's been a while, five, six years or something like that since I'd seen his second Halloween movie. So I'm actually looking forward to checking that out, because I did somewhat enjoy his Halloween. I, I love Malcolm McDowell's performance as Dr. Loomis. Definitely think he does a great job as that. It's probably my favorite character in the first movie, but um, I remember not really liking the way his character was in his in the second movie. And same thing with Laurie. I thought she was even worse and more annoying in Rob Zombie's second movie. But I'll, I'm going to check it out again and give it another chance. So, you know, although, I, it, you know, not even close to being as good as John Carpenter's. Like, not even close at all. It, it was still, it was, I still enjoyed watching it. But just, uh, sometimes I get tired of Rob Zombie where, like, like, some of his movies, especially with these ones and uh, Devil's Rejects, where, like, everybody seems to be, like, a greasy douchebag. It doesn't matter who they are, the main character or villain, just, like, everybody is a greasy, long-haired asshole. And um, that I, it, get, it loses its charm a little bit. Like, Devil's Rejects was entertaining, and um, I thought that, you know, kind of gave it, like, a gritty 70s exploitation vibe to it, but with the Halloween movies, I really didn't think they needed that. Like, John Carpenter's movies didn't have, like, a griminess to them, and, um, I don't know, I just, I didn't really like, I didn't really think that added anything to the movies, I guess, except just kind of giving it that Rob Zombie style, but 
that, that's basically my review on that one, and I'm looking forward to checking out the second one anyways, though, because it's been a while since I've seen it, and um, I remember it being a little strange, so I like strange movies, so looking forward to checking that one out again, even though I'm not the biggest fan of his two movies, so... You know, I hope you guys enjoyed this little review on the box set and of Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. And um, my next video I'm going to post up is going to be me talking about all the Scream Factory Blu-rays and DVDs I have in my collection so far. Because this Friday, after I get paid, I was going to go to FYE and pick up another one of the Scream Factory Blu-rays. And when I do that, that'll actually be my 10th one I bought. So I figured just to celebrate the first... 10 Blu-rays of the Scream Factory releases that I bought. I figured I'd post a little video up for that. So that'll probably be up sometime next week. But um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, definitely give it a thumbs up or leave a comment if you did. And see you guys next time.